And greetings from Arrow in your head stadium in Carcass City, Missouri, where a traffic jam is 10 cars waiting to pass a tractor on the highway. The Rockets fans have been tailgating since early this morning and are ready for some football. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. Terror Bay Mutineers take on the Carcass City Creeps. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Are you ready for some MFL action? Am I? I love MILFs. Mutants, I'd like to he said MFL, not M-I-L-F, you half-wit. Oh, I thought you were talking about the Mayhem Bowl halftime milf lingerie girls team. What a zombie QB with that big rack of ribs and almost no waist at all. Ho-ho, va-va-va-voom. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the frayed cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is, ah, I forgot my point. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot eight. Ouch! Anyone in the mood for a steak tartare? Anyone in the mood for a mutant tartare? Second down and ten. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. Oh, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Oh, uh, you're telling me. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. First down and five. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. Yeah, I think he's warming down this guy to the speed feet, Grim. He's running from his team. It's clear. Oh, you're Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them guessing. And it's first and ten. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Second down and nine. Come 
Almost that one in the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that unless it's Cooper Night at Taco Hell. He has better footwork though than me. On a kind of not clenching his cheeks though. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. in for a first down to keep the drive alive. Hey, uh, Bricks, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Second down and a lot. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. chunk of yards on that pass play. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now and oh nice hit. Say what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? And it's first and ten. Oh, with a brutal hit! Second down and long. was a bone crusher right there, folks. Third down and nine. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten.
I thought the only tie we'd see would be a noose. Instead, they're in a dead heat. Tie game at the end of one. And it's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. Receiver runs away from the pass marker? That's a good clue that something's not right. Third and four. That's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. That's a catch for a four-yard gain. Second down and six. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Hot. And that is caught for a first down. First down and three. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. That pass was way off target, but I'm pretty sure the QB will blame the receiver as he always does. Second down and ten. Nice pick up for six yards. Third and four. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. 
He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. Somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all you can eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. Second down and seven. Kaboom! And the quarterback unleashes a sonic blast against the defense, knocking everyone down but his return. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. The 10. It's a touchdown! Hey, man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, did you talk about it? should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. It's good. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. That's a little on the nose, don't you think? And he's off to the races. And the defense is on his heels. And it's first and ten. Two minutes remain in the half. Great! I gotta take a dump! Again? You just went. How is that even possible? Ah, it's the nachos, man! Want some? The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. So you can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. Second down in a very lot. And that's a one feet dirty trick. Look at him go. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a great turkey. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five!
Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And it's first and ten. Baby, I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see it because I'm too fast. <laughs> it's a time warp dirty trick. The last play is a race. How did they do that? Did they go 88 miles per hour? Just ask. That's a killer. It was right there and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. And he just slipped away like a... And that's a great nine-yard completion there. Hey, it ain't great if you don't score or move the chains. The timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Two linemen left on the offense, and will need to play shorthanded the rest of the game. Hey, don't say me things about short people, Grim. And at least they don't look down on people. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Britt's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a cop. I'm not sure who he was throwing to on that play. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Jimmy passes it for maybe a yard. They've got to open up the offense here, Bricks. Third down and the QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. Nice pass. That catch is good for six yards. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I'd do. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company. Oh, mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Oh, 
sure now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock him in. He put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. You know, this shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. QB, I'd be pissed. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. You know the defense wants some payback after that. <laughs> Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he's got a chance for a good return here. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. gain on that one. Like when Bricks' mom decided to move back in with us. Second down and two. And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. And it's first and ten. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. First down and six. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First 
and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. Baby, no, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest, the greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Third down and long. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. First and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And the defense calls the thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's got to hurt. That'll make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day, because he's the one who just got wiped out. For the day is being played by my kid's sister, and she doesn't have legs. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. The quarterback rigged the ball to explode, and the defensive player got blown to bits. <laughs> <laughs> Second down and ten. Whoa. Looks like a pass. It, it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the stick. If you get one more bullshit penalty, you get one more for free. You'll also probably lose the game. You just do the attack ref's dirty trick. Second down, the side defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. I got the thing stuck in my ear again! Oh, with the brain scrambler! Talk about running into a buzzsaw, Bricks. Okay, he just ran into a buzzsaw. And that'll bring up second and one. Freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. 
And it's first and ten. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. That run is good for nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. Yeah, this guy's like a human cannonball. First down. And my next door neighbor was a human cannonball, Grim. He drowned in his pool. And it's first and ten. Second down and six. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Hey, oh, game to back him. Come on, Dad. Yep, get on the gap. Get on out. Get on. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. gonna hurt he may not be able to comprehend math after that hit what's fair exactly the offense is down to their final lineman so he'll be playing center for the rest of the game how's he gonna be able to block all those defenders by himself Grim? well he can't which is why the qb is gonna have to get rid of the ball very very fast if he wants to stay alive and it's first and ten The defender's one speed just kicked in. And that's how you get your buzz on in the NFL. He's at the 10. There might not be an eye in team, but this guy's eyeballs are all over the other team's helmets right now. <laughs> oh, man. And the defense recovers the ball. Somebody get that guy a beer, because he just saved me a thousand bucks. Dirty trick to erase that last play. Having all those team physicists really paid off. And you said they were crazy. Pass and catch for three. The receiver needs to break some tackles. Second down and seven. When I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it looks the quarterback doesn't like what he sees and calls a timeout. If I did that when I was in the bathroom, I'd never come out. Oh, no. He's become self-aware, like a three-year-old. And he put all of his foot into that one. And it's first and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. Second down and six. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. 
And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Seriously, man, you think you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Pow! With the brain scrambler! And it's first and ten. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Ah, we are, Grim. Ah. Two minutes left in the game, and we'll be right back after I uh, top off my drink. What did I do with that? Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. One speed. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room it goes right through yeah like a double stuff burrito from taco hell looks like they're lined up for an onside kick you usually only talk about kickers when they win or lose games well this guy just earned his paycheck which is typically the amount the quarterback tips on dinner The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Hey, man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? Second down. And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. We know this quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, Grim. I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Third down, and they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the MMA. That would have been a disappointing run. It's even a worse throw. The defense looks hungry out there. The quarterback better watch himself. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. And it's first and ten. He almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? 
Hey, smells like an oven baked porn at John in here. For a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Stud bricks. Dad telling me. Nice run. No, I mean, he's a real stud. He works at the Mutants. The Carcass City Creeps lose the game today. The score says it all, but it wasn't even that close. They got blown out at home. Fans left by halftime to forget the game and start watching the new Game of Bones on NBO. You know, I watched that on my phone, too. Let's go down to the field and see how badly the MVP rubs it in. <laughs> Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right every up.